Him and his children. This is called Bell Curve. This Bell Curve, we have poor people here. When I mean poor, it doesn't mean poor poor. I mean poor, and they are, they are poor but they still can afford property. You understand what I'm trying to say? They are poor but can still afford properties. You understand? They can save money, save money, save money to buy one. So they are poor poor but can poor to buy property. The second type is the middle income and the rich. Yes? So poor people, very, very poor people are very poor. Alright? Middle income people is more. Am I right? Rich, rich people are very low. Yes or no? Hello? Okay, now, once we understand this, then let's compare with property price. Now, what do you mean by property price? You see, the property price goes up like that. Okay, now, when we talk about this line, this blue line is what we call the income line. When we talk about this line, we talk about the property price line. Understand so far? The so poor people buy cheaper. Understand? Middle income people buy at the normal range. Rich people buy very high range. You understand this correlation? So far, okay? Okay. Now, the thing is. We need to understand this gap. We want to know this gap. This is the price that we want to be in. You understand? Why? It's because is this safer? Yes or no? Yes, it's safer. Yes? So let's say for example, this price in Ho Chi Minh, which is the middle income, is two to three billion. Am I right to say that? Affordable level, yes? Yes. So anything that is above here is different, yes or no? Higher. Can you say two to three billion is a similar as in Ho Chi Minh City? Ho Chi Minh City. City. Yeah. Higher, am I right? Ho Chi Minh City is higher, am I right? Yes. So, by me saying, what does it mean? Every area has its own bell curve. Do you understand now? Every area has its own bell curve. You cannot say property price is expensive. That is why many people don't understand. When the developer sell the property price expensive, you buy it, you are buying at a future value. Do you understand? This is what I see in future. When the property price is selling at that high, the developer will absorb your down payment. This is what I predict in the future. Means to say they don't need a lot of what about upfront cash. They will go on a discount. Just like, I'm sorry, you know the developer here called Wincom, yes? Okay, sorry, Wincom. Yes? So that is the reason why they price it at future price, but they make you afford the property. Do you understand? Hello? Yeah. So, but if they price it at future price, means to say the price is around here. Do you understand? They will price it around here. That is future price. <coughs> So as time passes, it will move because of 7% inflation. Do you understand? It will move. So the cycle of this median level will slowly move as it inflates. Do you understand? Hello? So this is science. It's not by per se. So the key is, what is the fundamental here? So, I'm sorry I have to tell you all this because I only have 45 minutes. I don't have a lot of time. So I really want to teach you but it's just not enough time. You know, to understand how much is the poor poor buy, what you need to know is the salary or the income. Salary or the income, salary or the income of the people in that particular area. 
Understanding the salary, we need to understand the component of what we call the loan. How the, the, the bank calculates the affordability. That banking system, I need two to three hours to teach you. This bell curve, I need one to two hours to teach you. To select the right property in which location, I need five hours to teach you. Do you understand? So my job is to not tell you where to buy, which I can tell you. It's not fair. Because the thing that I see and what you see is different. You have your own resources which I don't know. You have your network which I don't know. You see something which I don't know. You see what is your future, I don't know. So how can I say that this is a good property for you to buy and you buy and you don't buy, you're stupid. Cannot, it's not fair. So that is the reason why you need to understand property matrix. Property matrix, in these three days, I share with you this. Whether you come or not, it's okay. I just need to let you understand the fundamental. That is the key. In property matrix, you need active income and passive income. You cannot buy without active income. You cannot. You cannot. It's very dangerous. So if you cannot have active income, then fine. What I can teach you, if you don't have active income, you can group up. You come and learn. You go outside and ask people who have money to invest in you. Remember the, uh, what Mobius is telling you? If you want to start something, don't go to the bank and borrow. It's okay. You borrow from equity. Remember? Remember? So if you see something that is good and you know how to convince your investor and you know how to do ABNB, and you know how to manage the whole thing. Do you think that is difficult? That is there a possibility for you to get money from them to invest in you? Yes or no? Yes. If you are a property agent and if you are an insurance agent, you should learn this from me. If you are a business person who wants to start another business, you can do this. Whether you come to my class or not, you should learn this. I'm giving you a blueprint how I make my money. So understanding this, then we need to understand that how much money we have, only we can buy property. But if it goes negative, it will affect you. You need to actually full star. If you want to buy one more property, you need have three star so that you can actually gear for this. So is active income important? Yes, but it all depends on how much your active income is. So it becomes very objective. Hey, hey, this one, uh, I want to make more money. I want to make this much money. Because when I make this much money, I can buy that. Right? Then you have a reason why you want to make so much money. So once you understand that, then only we talk what type of property to buy. And that this is bell curve. You need to understand this. And then bell curve plus what we call the 13 effect. How to select properties. This one I need 5 hours. Once you understand that, you take loan. This loan you need to understand because in Vietnam, your loan is quite complex. There's a lot of consideration. Come into the class, I need to teach you 3 hours to 4 hours. Only on the banking system. Only on banking system. My class is a very technical class. Once you understand <laughs> that, you need to understand that this is risk. You need to manage this risk. Don't take this lightly. Don't simply believe in the property guru or property advisor or property whoever selling you property. Because at the end of the day, when they sell you something, they will take their commission. If you don't know how to take care of your interest, you will die. You have to understand.